Blog Talk Radio. Good evening, everyone. This is me, Jonathan Alexander, and I'm here to host my show, Life After Happiness. Uh, today, we're doing a chakra day. Um, my co-host is here, Kate, uh, Kelly. Are you there, Kelly? Yes, hi. Okay. Rachel has not shown up yet. Did she tell you that she was going to call in? or? Um, she said, yes, uh, let's do this. So she should be calling any time. Okay, let me text her. Okay. All right, let's give you a chance to get ready while um yeah. while we wait. Absolutely. Okay, she says she's calling right now. So oh, okay. She should be, Great. She should be here. All right. Okay. Now, while we're waiting, um, what do you normally do to get ready for this sort of thing? Okay, this this well, might be it. This might be her. Oh, guys. Okay. Hi. Rachel, you there? Hey, what's happening? I'm here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. I can't hear you so good. How y'all doing? Doing good. good. How about you, Rachel? You doing okay? I am. Everything is going legit great. I'm blessed. Great. Okay. All right. Now, um, it seems to be from the area because you're both in Michigan. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Both Michigan, Southwest. Yep. Because it started with Kelly right. doing energy yeah. healing on her, and then she's like, we got to get her on. You know, and a lot of people, are you crazy? No, I'm not. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> all all right. to explain well, all that. I do. have no prior education with this stuff, so it's not experience. Okay, here's what we'll do. I'll let uh, Kelly go ahead and do her stuff, okay? Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Right. Thank you for letting me on. Sure. Okay. Go hey, thank you. I'm on board. Um. I'm going to start off by explaining what I do and what I'm doing on my end. Um, I do like a moving meditation type thing on my right. end before I start. And, okay. you know, for people that could be taking a walk and just practicing mindfulness. Um, you know, yeah, I started calming like down, down last night. <laughs> so Yeah. Yeah. Meditation is a beautiful thing. I just started it not too long ago. Oh, good. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, people can even practice it by, you know, eating mindfully, by taking, you know, concentrating on each bite at a time. And, you know, what is the texture? How does it feel? What does it taste like? Yes, Yes, I've had many visions. It's real and raw. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, Sorry. excellent. So um, I have candle slit. I've got the Himalayan salt. I have my okay. bearded dragon. He decided to yes. be out and on. So, yes, I can um, feel you. It's like it's clearing me out. I feel like at peace in a way. Mind you, I took a slight, you know, anxiety med because I, I don't do good with anxiety. And this is my first time on the air. So I'm not going to sound coherent on different aspects. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's totally. all good, though. Yeah. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do, and you can follow along and do this too, or if you decide not to, that's fine. It's not gonna affect no, that's it. fine. Let me go to let me go to a darker room because a lot of people that are okay. listening that know me, you know, Rachel, you're crazy. But there's no crazy in it. It's logic. It's a path. How do you explain that? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's hard to explain, you know, especially if somebody hasn't experienced something that's kind of like trying to explain a blue Ooh. sky to someone who's never seen it. Right. Yes, and I'm thankful for guys like you that under just they understand, you know, and people are starting to wake up and understand. 
And when you have, yeah. you know, when you read, read somebody and it comes through, the message, it, you have to let it out. Because the, on the other side, that's, that's their job for me as a messenger. You know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. I had yeah. six people die in a year, and four of them, I was with their death within a week or a couple hours. And I have so validation of that. One, I looked out for their family. Uh, one was 12 hours before he died. And then the other one, I tried to save her life, but there was a there was a reason for that, and I'm starting a project for her, and I helped her guide her home. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. we can get started on this. I'm high functioning. You know this. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. might want to be laying down with your eyes closed when you're doing this, Rachel. All right. Yep. All right. Yeah. It, it's better if you're on your back, but you know. Okay. Yeah, no doubt. It has to be stretched out, comfortable. It is so all hard right. for me to calm down. It's all good. Okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so high functioning, man. Ask anybody. But okay. Yeah. Well, the first thing I like to do, and and you can follow along, is I like to rub my hands vigorously together, and then you feel mm-hmm. kind of a tingle. Hold on a minute, you feel please. Kind of warm. Lexi, can okay. go upstairs because I won't be able to do it with you right there. I'm not trying to be rude, and I know I'm live, but I won't be able. She'll make me laugh. I know how my kids are. Love um, you, too. All right. I'm good now. I'm sorry. Okay, now what? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> all right. Um, try rubbing your hands vigorously so you feel it tingle and feel warm. And then take your hands apart about shoulder width and start bringing yeah. them slowly together. And then cup them in about five or six inches apart. You should feel uh, like resistance. It's a warmness. It's a warmness. Yep. Like I did yeah. with you that one day. I was yeah. so amazed by that. I was like, I worked. Okay. Yeah, that was great. That was awesome. With my carpal tunnel, she was able to help me. And it really, really did help. I could feel it. Um. I have a pendulum, but it, it could be anything on a string. And right. I I clear it off, so my fingers go running down it and sending any residual energy into the ground where it can be safely absorbed and neutralized. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm concentrating on your face because I've, you know, I know what you look like. I've seen recent pictures. Yeah. Um, what do you see with my energy, my eyes? Is it strong? Yes. Yeah. Is there a gift there? I don't know. People are like, you're crazy, Rachel. I don't see it. No, we do have a picture, right? You do have a picture, right, Kelly? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, good. You're not crazy. What's happening is your awakening. And, uh-huh. um, and it's a lot of information coming at you, and sometimes it's hard to sort through and make sense it's of distinguished it. It's distinguish between logic, yep, illusion, and illusion, but I can narrow it down in categories. You know what illusion is and delusion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Coming from my yeah. past and my mom and, you know, trauma and this and that, you learn different tactics. I think a lot of that has to do with empathic and empathy as well, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. All right, absolutely. but we'll get started on this. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. I um I learned with the show how to you know how to be focused and you know sometimes things will go off on a tangent, but I'm able to you know keep in that um in that frame of mind to be able to do it. And you know, at first it was extremely difficult if I got you know sidetracked but now it's fine um and i'm starting to focus more oh good good yes yes okay. breathing in and out yeah all that it's all good oh good yeah that can help quiet the mind and help it okay um so after i cleanse the pendulum i'm going to focus on your face and your root chakra which is located at the base of your spine. It's yep. kind of in the place where yep. if you were sitting, you'd be sitting on it. Um, it's your most primal and important energy center, and it's yep. your survival instinct. And you, oh yeah, it's um, strong. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and safety. Like 
that's where if your safety feels threatened, um, that'll be off. Or if you have past traumas that are stuck there, it'll be off. Yeah, so, I let it go, but it's all good. That's I good. I've learned a lot. <laughs> yeah, good. I, I, now, I'm aiming towards shaman because empathy, empathic's been for years, you know what I mean? And I'm starting to experience yeah. a lot more when I'm trying to help people. I had a friend, I can't disclose names, you know, um, her son yeah. had drowned And I could name the shirt that his favorite shirt was. And for the simple fact, um, his grandma was looking out for him. And she goes, you know what? Specifically, she had said that her grandma, you know, his grandma was there. And I named the hairdo and everything. It's crazy. And I think that's more towards medium. You know, I'm not sure. But I do work with people where the spirits come in and I say what has to be said. You know, I've seen people cry when I send these messages. I think, yeah, it does sound more like an intuitive medium. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. All right. Now, if it goes in a circle, then your chakra is open. The energy is positive. It's where it should be. Now, if it goes side to side or front to back, then it's either got negative energy or it's blocked. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Yeah, and, I'm, and I'm flowing, if you understand what I'm saying. So that should help a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Very now, advanced. Yeah. Now it's showing front to back, which is showing that there's either a block or negative energy stuck there, which is okay. not uncommon. Um, okay. But it's kind of, it's basically your link to the earthly plane, earthly things. Um, so it was going front to back, now it's going side to side. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see what I can find in there when I work in there. Yeah, go ahead, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, this part's kind of new to me. I did have a bunch of weird dreams, galactic dreams, and people congratulating me. I'm not going to get intact, you know what I mean? But it was awesome. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That was happy. Let's see what I found in Congratulations. There. So. Cool. I mean, I know what I feel. You know what I mean? And I could just, I could just, each energy, I could tell who the people are, spirit-wise or people-wise, you know. I don't know how to explain it. You just, you don't. You don't. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, Let's see. I was picking up on a lot, like, either recently a relationship with someone that you care about, like, you feel that you tried to help them and it was kind of a lost cause or they yeah, disappointed it was. you? Yeah, it life was it. Right, and I won't detail names. Um, It's gone. The last dream I had of him, he had sent me a bunch of butterflies out of my cell phone. So it was that he had healed me in a lot of ways. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But he That's but he didn't good. want that life. and I And I respect that. You know what I mean? I do. Yeah, yeah. I healed myself tremendously. A lot. I've always lived on faith. That's all I know. That's cool. I've, I, yeah, from being kidnapped to molestation to um, abuse to um, putting my dad to rest to overdose. My mom's schizophrenic autistic. I've had to put her in rehab a couple times. And uh, finally, life's given me peace. I, I'm forever grateful for that, and I ha- I'm flowing. And I'm grateful for that, too. You know, my blessing came. So... Yeah, that's it's, good. It's a story. I know, it's a story, right? But I'm blessed about yeah. it. Yeah, you should you should yeah. write about it. Um, it that's it what I thought about writing a feel... book or something. My story's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but it'll help people, and it helps you to write it, too. Yes, um, right, right? Yeah. And I got and... just a couple classes left, and I'll be certified as a shaman. I don't know if I'm going that route or maybe intuitive, um, <clears throat> like happiness coach for people. It's kind of a little lightweight because every five minutes I'm having to fix something with my energy field or I'm having to fix somebody else, but I'm learning to do myself. And, you know, you can't fix everybody. And I got to learn that. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You know how you can feel part. everything and you want to fix them? But this was the one case I couldn't fix this person, but in the end he had healed me. So I'm forever grateful for that. For that. Oh, that's good, good. Now, yeah, I'm yeah. checking it again, 
and it's going in a circle, and it's getting bigger and faster. So I was able to pull that out, and it's doing a lot better. Um, I'm going to check your sacral chakra, which is number two. That That's is located part. between, yeah, that one is between your bikini line and your belly button. And okay. that one is your emotional body, your sensuality, and your creativity. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is making a nice healthy circle. And it's starting the helicopter. So, I mean, oh. I call it that, but it, it's going around so fast you can't see it in its horizontal. Is so that good? Like, doing, awesome. Yeah. Yay! That is awesome. I've been yeah. cleaning out my chakras every night. I promise you, meditation. It's the, it's my gift. I mean, it's I you know I'm a Catholic metaphysical. You know what I mean? Mother Mary, yeah. and you know I ain't gonna get into it, but it's just energy. That's it. We all got it. It's godly. God's in all of us. Yeah. That's I've true. lost a lot of friends because of this. I promise you, and I don't like that because yeah. I am who I am. What do you do? Yeah. Yes, yeah. and we can't change it and, and a lot of times these gifts come to people who aren't searching for them they just happen right um, yeah and I know my path all, yep. yeah and I'm checking your solar plexus that's the third one that okay. is the one that's between your belly button and your sternum like your breastbone uh-huh. um, yeah. that's your personal power your self esteem your warrior energy and your power of transformation Let's see okay. Okay, so far it's doing a circle, a big circle. I'm seeing if it stays that way. Sometimes it'll start off that way and it'll go somewhere. <laughs> You're okay. good. I can feel I can kind of feel the whole circle thing going on. It's my special oh, good. <laughs> good. I feel you girl. <laughs> All right. That's excellent. Yeah, it's getting bigger and faster. So yeah, that one's healthy. Um, and that's caused chakras, for like diseases and stuff, right? Like if it's off, that can yeah. cause cancer, all kinds of. So this is the field I'm going through. It's kind of like Reiki, shamanism type of thing. Slowly, you know. Yeah, yeah. I need the and, tools, but the experience, the near death experience, is there. I about died three times. I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that that can also help you to, you know, suddenly have a whole bunch of gifts, you know, thrown at you that are yes. like psychic yes. gifts. It is. It's a lot. I have a way with people. Trust me. And I don't mean it on yeah. an ego part. You know, I just I, I'm blessed to be able to do that with people. Yeah, I'm gonna check your heart one. That's number four. Um. Okay, this one's going side to side right away. That one um, scares me, yeah, because I have palpitations back in the day, and I almost feel like <clears throat> if the way I was going, I was supposed to die before 40. So spirit has said, hey, you need to quit, or uh, you're going to be dead. You know, my dad died of 46 of an overdose. It ain't my time. I know my past. No, no. It's, I'm, I'm it's very strong-willed and hard-headed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, telling me that. Because each one of these chakras is linked to a part of your spine. It's linked to um, the nerve centers. And it's linked to... Yes, um, my lymphobic, my lymphobic, the circulation, yep. Yeah. how do we help that? Well, let me go in there and see what I can find. Because this is the center for opening of feelings, compassion, capacity to love. And doesn't like conflict. it is. I'm yes. I'm just learning to love myself. Well, I have. I am. You know, I am. If you know what I mean. But um, it's oh, hard. Yeah. You know, I don't trust nobody, and and I'm just starting to trust people. So it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I yeah, got I got one friend Delia, happen. who's my heart, and I trust her on everything. And I got like two more. You know, I won't disclose oh, any yeah. other names, but she's my heart. <laughs> So. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it's definitely a learning process, and you know, with especially with learning to love ourselves, because we're so used to putting everybody in front of ourselves. Yes, it's hard so. being an empath with that. Yes, yes. 
And then it's, it's yeah. planned not to be certified crazy because when I would when I tried to help this person, I had to go as a shaman into a psychosis mode and bring myself back. But you, when you go that far into the spirit world, you know mentally it can it can mess you up. Where some most people don't come back. I was very lucky and blessed. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't know many people that can do that with their mind. I mean, it's a powerful thing, but you really got to know what you're doing. <laughs> Yeah, or it can be a dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, let me see what I find in there when I go in there to your heart chakra. Wow. You have a very beautiful heart. Yeah. I have a what wow. heart? You have a very beautiful heart. Oh, thank you. It's giving me chills in a good way. Um, What's that I mean? Just, like. It it means that you're very compassionate for other people and um, animals. Is that what it's a healer? Is that where people think I'm a healer? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I was curious. Yeah, that would be it. And is that um, like a shaman type thing, or is that more of a? I mean, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a shaman type thing. Um, It can be an intuitive healer type thing. Um, Yes, I'm very, I feel, if someone's coming at me negatively, I won't come back at them, and I won't. You know, I'll pray or whatever, but I can feel, and that's what's hard is if I'm by somebody, and I know that they're coming after me or they're talking about me, I won't say nothing, but I can feel that shit, like, in my veins. I don't like it. Yeah. I have to, like, I have to shut myself down. It's very hard. It's a, it's a cursing and a bless or a blessing. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Learning to so, be able to shield and control it is is that's very where I'm important. at right now. Yes, because I was feeling too much, and my teacher was like, "Rachel, your spirit's everywhere. Come on, get with it." I knew what get time it. it was, Kelly. If you know what I mean. Yeah. So yeah, I'm good now. Blessed. Yeah. And let's see here. I'm feeling that you have a lot of losses, but that you're gaining everything back and then some. Like, you know, your cup is not empty. Your cup is filling up rather quickly with really good things. Yes, especially with people close to me. I lift them up. One, uh, she just got her job back. Uh, She's doing all right. Um, She lost her husband a year ago to overdose I had had a vision to take over his family and I did on certain aspects and we go through stuff at the same time but uh her blessing came too that's what's up oh good well your heart chakra is now doing this helicoptering thing like um what was it your sacral was oh my gosh this is even going like crazy like I'm having trouble hanging on to this it's going so fast what does that mean I'm so excited what is it what is it (laughs) <laughs> that means that it's in the super positive right now. It's it's like kicking butt. You've got all kinds of positive energy coursing through your heart chakra right now. Um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, your throat chakra is your next one. That is number five. And that's your ability to manifest and express your truth in the world. And mm-hmm. let's see what this one tells us. Okay. We're doing a big sweeping circle, and that one's, like, going crazy fast. So that one's doing really well. So when you express yourself, don't hold back because you're going to be able to help a lot of people and learn and help yourself even more when you just blurt out what comes to mind. Don't be afraid. Of See, that's hard to. because it looks like I'm, I'm like on something or a psychosis. Cause when I have to do a reading, I got to type it all out. Like spirit's not going to let me stop. You know what I mean? It's hard. Yeah. 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 It is hard. Um, it'll start getting better. Um, yeah. but right now, you know, just go with the flow. Um, try to, uh, I'm flowing. It was hard with the whole men thing. I wasn't grasping. I get it now, though. And I'll leave it at that. I'm blessed. Believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the next one is your third eye. That's your intuition. You're recognizing patterns of learning. Your yes, uh, memory strong. 
and strong. Yeah. <laughs> Blake, it's going to go AWOL. Just watch. <laughs> oh, it's starting to do the big sweeping circle. Yeah, yep, yep. It's definitely, like, hard to hang on to right now, so it's definitely off the chart. So that's good. Um, your crown chakra is the last one. And this is what connects you to to God and heaven and the universe and the, mm-hmm. the uh, energy connection that we all have with each other. Uh, right. When you're able to tap into this, it definitely means you are ascending to the fifth dimension. Um, it is yeah, I felt that things. last night, girl. I felt that. <laughs> it's, ah, it's a beautiful good. thing. It's a beautiful thing, Kelly. Yeah. It's my path. Well, I, I want to help people, and I got a project start for my friend that passed. Um, I wasn't able to save her life. I did. I did try a week before, but I felt her hardcore, and I felt her pain, and got her message. Oh. But now I got to promote her healing for this community. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> but anyhow, cool. go ahead. Well, this one is off right now. It might have been on last night, fine, but um, it's the higher states of consciousness uh, being open to what is beyond our understanding, and it could be that it's just slowing down because you have so much to process right now. Yeah, Um, that and I took an anxiety medication, just to mind you, so it might cover, you know, the pineal gland. It might be, you know, decalcifying that or whatever that word is, so. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see what I can find. I didn't find think it. about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's okay. Um, yeah, it's just a little cloudy, and I think it's due to that. Let me see what I can do. Yeah, it just felt murky. Let's see if it helps. What I did. Okay, it's starting to go in a circle, which is good. And, yes, it's starting to get bigger and bigger, bigger, faster, faster, bigger. And it's helicoptering, and it's hard to hang on to now. Um, I'm going to go back through them all really quickly and make sure that nothing, like, skipped around and, you know, attached okay. itself to a different chakra or something. Right. I um, had a lot of attachments. So, I was going crazy there for a minute. Not crazy, but why is there so many spirits on me? You know, I mean, you're talking like real life people. I did not know what was going on. I'm I'm all good now, and I get it. But it oh. was like an acid trip experience. <laughs> but I know my body, yeah. and I have a strong mind, and I know my spirit. And my spirit guides a medicine man, a Native American, and my father as well. I'm sure you can feel oh, that maybe cool. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Your root is doing well. Um, your sacral is doing well. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, no, it's starting to helicopter. Um, your solar plexus is doing well. Let's see if it picks up some more. Yeah, it, it's not as fast as some of the other ones, but I think that's just the power of transformation and the fact that you're not done transforming. You're in the no. middle of it. A big mm. transformation. It um, is. I've, I've seen, there. Kelly, I've seen a feeling stuff I've never seen before, and it is wild. I never even knew or fathomed, and it's it's a beautiful feeling. And I'm going to go forth with this, you know, with the shaman thing. You know, I think there's only one here in South Michigan. One other one. So I'm oh, gonna go wow. with Are you done with your with your chakras, uh, Kelly? No, I'm checking the heart one right now. And that one is not as big and fast as the other ones. So I think that's just, you know, maybe an inner conflict on trying to understand everything that's coming at you at this time. Yes, um, and yes, yes. conflicts you have with people that don't understand what's going on and they think, you know, wow, what's, what's she on? You know, I, I yeah, think I've lost a lot of people and I, and I don't like that. I am who I am and, and, and it's hard, very hard. I don't like it. People, I, people yeah. that I've known for 20 years turn their back on me because they don't understand who I am. And, you know, this kind of thing you're, you're quiet about, but I'm not a quiet person. So that's something we need to learn, to learn, you know, some things just aren't, you don't have to explain it. I only have to explain the person in the mirror, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was talking to my dad about some of the shows, and then the look on his face, and I'm like, okay, you're the wrong person to talk to about it. <laughs> right. Yeah. My grandma, um, my grandma did say she's on her, you know, she's in hospice. Uh, she did say she could see things her grandma did before it happened. Uh, my grandma's not real religious, but she's going to take it to the grave, and I'll leave it at that. So who knows? That generation, you didn't talk about stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they didn't go to psychologists or anything like that. Cause it was all like you don't air your dirty laundry. You just don't talk about things. And Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Times are changing. <laughs> yeah, I'm blessed for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the heart chakra is still kind of is a little bit iffy, but it's still doing a pretty good circle. It's I think it's just that, you know, the losing people thing, you know. Um, right. But it's, the throat chakra, that one is, like, quickly going off the chart. Good. So that's, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing and express yourself. And the the people that need to hear your message are going to be the ones that are listening. Um, not they necessarily do. They don't, they don't come out. I've had maybe seven to ten people say, wow, yeah, you're not bullshitting. <laughs> So that's cool. Yeah. I'm blessed for that. Um, I do have some people that come at me like, "Do your thing, shaman, motherfucker." You know, and and I and I feel it. I, I don't like it. But what do yeah, you do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you just don't engage them and be like, you know. Uh, then they eventually go off and find someone else to pick on. I guess. Right. Um, no reaction type thing. I guess. It's the only way yeah, I know. Then, or stay humble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because then they they lose the fun if you're not playing, you know. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, the third eye, let's see that one again. All right, that one is, okay, yep, off the chart helicopter. Um, what does that mean? So like, like with my third eye, so when I say something and I tell somebody, it's 100%, right? Yeah, that means trust your gut. Don't necessarily go with your heart or your head, but trust your gut because it will never mislead you. Your okay, intuition is not on. Yeah. Um, your, yeah, that one is, like, crazy good. Um, your crown chakra is now, like, crazy good. It's doing, like, a very fast horizontal circle. So all your chakras are good right now. How I'm do you good. feel? I'm do you feel about about Kelly, yeah. we have a caller. Can we take a caller? Sure. Oh, God. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hello. 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 Hi. Uh, my apologies for texting you, ma'am. I didn't want you thinking we were ignoring you. That's why I was texting you. Are you okay? Uh, uh, are, you, are, you, are you coming from you just okay. wanted to listen, or? Yeah. Do you have a question? Yeah. Yeah, I can't hear, to hear anybody. You. I'll take any yeah. question or help whoever needs help, but I. Did I hang up? They're still on the air. I uh, they were they called in the middle of the chakra, and I um but I I, I text um. That's okay. Are, are you there? Okay. Well, let's let's see if they say something, and then and then we'll we'll go from there. How, how um how do you feel, Rachel? I, how do I feel? I feel fine. It's hard okay. for my kids to keep coming back and forth and makes me nervous because they want to make me laugh. Oh, <laughs> so do you feel any different now than before we did I that? I do. I feel, I feel, yes, and thank you. I feel a little more open. Um, I think here on out I'll be all right. 2019 is my year. Believe that. <clears throat> my yeah. faith is big. My faith is big, and, and I've always helped people in a way. You know, and growing up, a lot of people are like, how, how do you know that? Are you psychic? I've had very close people to me uh, tell me I was empathic from, like, Jump Street, you know. Um, and then I had a lot of spiritual openings through the last couple of years. I've had a lot of visions. I've saved a couple of people's lives. I've helped people out of suicide. Um, 
I recently tried to save somebody, and I'm not going to get into it, you know, due to whatever codes. Um, and it didn't work, but in the way he saved my life. So, like I said, I'm grateful for that. Yeah. And I had a lot yeah. of group of friends that it helped as well. And I'm, and they know who they are. And they know my path and my truth, and I'm also grateful for that. That's awesome to have that. Yes. Yes. Was there any callers? No. Well, we had a caller um, at 646 area code. Are you there? Yeah. Oh. I think that person is even there. Um, hear me? Hello. Hello. Hello? I hear somebody. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Hey, yeah. how are you today? Hi, guys. Good. Hi. So, Happy New Year to you, by the way. Hey, thank happy you. New Year. You too. Oh, I- Thank you. So uh, I would love to change jobs, okay, and go back into a corporate environment. I'm going to start preparing my resume and start uh-huh. uh, getting it out. Um, I just wanted to see, do you see some changes coming up in the near future? Um, it depends on if your, your ego and how what your intuition tells you. When you go into the corporate room, you know, I don't know how your anxiety is, but when I go into like a corporate area, you got ego, you got fast, you got people moving everywhere. So they're not paying attention. But if you're, if you're like me and observe everything, and I'm sorry, I'm fast. This is how I read. Um, are you the type that like, are you quick? Is that why you're going yeah. to the corporate? Is it data? You're yeah, doing data, I- right? Okay, data yeah, entry, computers, mm-hmm. okay, is that what you're going into yes. now? Yes, yes. Okay, mm-hmm. so your thing is your mind is very straightforward, not so much faith-based, but more like, you know, I've been through enough shit, I got this, so when I go into this mm-hmm. corporate room, I'm going to show all you motherfuckers what is up, and I'm sorry, I'm a Hyoka empath, so I just lay okay. it the fuck out, okay? Am I right oh, on okay. this? Yeah, Okay. Yes. <laughs> yep. Okay, okay, and then, <clears throat> now, at corporate, are you... Are you going into, like, um, I'm looking at you kind of like an Aaron Brockovich. Is there, like, a point behind this, or is it charity, will, or is it? I've worked in corporate before, but I want to get back into that field. Okay, yeah, because that's where the money yeah. is, sadly, because we live that's in the, the government. Yes. Yes. That, that's yes. Where, yes, and you're right. Yep, mine's more mm-hmm. working with people, and uh, like I said, I'm going back into shamanism, and, and it's not easy. But point being, on your end, the corporate world's hard. You're going to have a lot of jealousy, and you just got to stay humble, show no reaction, and just have faith that you know where you're going. Your instinct's going to yes. be in your gut. If you feel like you got to go to the bathroom and you feel ill, somebody's coming towards you with jealousy, okay? And you're going to feel it in your oh. heart, and it's going to punch the shit out of you. And that's when you know it's your time to say what the fuck you got to say. And don't. And okay. I don't know, are you easy to, like, be vulnerable? As with age, we're not, you know? Am I easy to do what you said? Are you vulnerable? Like, when people come Me? towards you? You know, negativity, uh-huh. do you shut down? Like, I used to be that way, but no, now I just say I, it like I, I see it. To, I used, used to, to be vulnerable, but now you I say it like you way. see it. I say yep. it like I see it, and I still keep it professional. I just Good, want to yeah. That I need to learn that. Away, <laughs> yeah. Right. Find You're exactly making me feel you great because I'm going live tomorrow yeah. with this. Oh, so yeah. did I do okay, okay with cool. you? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, awesome. yeah, that's okay. what's up. Okay, what that sounds your, good. What else is your question? Um, Do you work with animals a lot? Do you have cats? I plan on getting a dog when I move. I would love to get a yeah, dog. Yeah, I know. I I get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see that you like animals. You know, you're very, in, not intuitive, but you're very humanity with animals. You see one hurt yeah. and you want to pick it up, but it's like... Man, I don't know what I don't want you to die, but I don't have enough money for the vet. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of <laughs> compassion. That's cool, and we need more mm-hmm. of that in this world. People lack it. Everybody's trying to yes. follow the crowd. You, my dear, yes. am not. You are one no. of them. I'm authentic. This is how I roll. And uh, does your name? Is it like an Amy? That's not my field. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know your name. I'm sorry, and that's it's okay. Scary. It's Carrie. Carrie. Okay. With a T. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, do you did you have um not like an, a life altering, but in your past did you have some kind of um, 
I'm sorry, something's coming in. Uh, I'm, and this is my first time, so I'm kind of nervous. Do you, are you quick to, like, get nervous kind of anxiety? I feel anxiety kind of in my gut. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm trying to get that going away, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's yep, yep, in, like, meditation. Yeah. Okay, meditation, yep. Yeah. Yes, meditation will help tremendously. I cannot fathom or even tell you how much that helps. Um, as far as your, um, I feel everything is cleared out. I'm kind of new with the chakra thing as well. Um, and I see, uh, did you just have a passing? What do you mean? What uh, kind of passing? Like, like, I see, like, guides of, like, your grandma. Were you close to your grandma? I see gardens. Oh, gardens. yeah, I had a cousin that passed away a few weeks ago, about a month ago, I would say. My grandmother's, uh, my grandmother's are both on the other side. One passed away about two or three years ago, maybe four years yes. now. And, and Was this one you were close away. with? Did you guys do yes. a lot of hands-on garden cooking? That's where you learned your cooking yes, from? Yes, yes, Okay, yes, yeah, yes. I, can, I can feel that hardcore. Um, older yeah. lady, um, kind of, yeah. and you know, there's a typical older lady. I'm trying to describe this. Does she do the aprons a lot? Kind of the old yeah. school. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Like, let me make my man my plate. Cause he can't make his times of change. Rachel, you yeah, don't roll like every, that, but that day, era did every day. Okay. So my grandma, like, very, my grandfather. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yep. They were very stern people, but good people. Yes. Trying to see what else I have coming in. I feel it kind of dying down, and I apologize. Do you have any other questions that I can help you with? Let's see. Do you see a move happening for me, I would say, within three to six months? A, a what? I'm sorry. A move. A move. A, a move? Heart, as far as your yeah. heart? As far as, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and I know you said corporate world, so what you want to get into? Um, a move. I see a move like you you you, you want to go. You just want to. Okay, see some our spirit when we feel stuck. You got to go out and go to that strip club. You may know what I'm saying. Go out and get that yeah. pet. You know you got to follow that intuition and do it. I'm like a gypsy. Look, I had all these visions and I and I did and I followed it hardcore. And uh, mm-hmm. here I am and my path is here and paved out. And I'm glad to hear you say I'm not crazy, and I am hoping yes. I'm 100 percent with you. Awesome. Yeah, you are. Yes. Um, I see that your spirit needs to. <clears throat> where we live in this world, where you think you're going to be judged, you know, you gotta stop giving a fuck what people think because we live in a society yes, that, that is yeah. of labels. You know. Yes. I don't yes. know who the yes. not like you, yes. but you know, you're this and that. No motherfucker, there ain't no such thing as labels in Rachie's hood. So the thing is with yeah. you and your hood <laughs> is, <laughs> sorry, I'm funny as fuck. Um, <clears throat> you need to follow your heart, and I feel like it's okay. towards a man. Is it a man of a different, um, different than you? Yeah, I haven't met him yet, but I pick up on his energy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. That's the energy is called flowing, and it's love. He's not whole yet, okay? And what it is is whole is we always got to work on ourselves before we can love other people. Yes, it just isn't exactly. going to work. And that's yes. not religion, yeah. spirituality, nothing. Just It's a common sense human nature, you know? Yeah, yeah. And if you wake up every morning, I promise you, and <coughs> go outside and just pray to God, be grateful for what you got. And I promise you, at the end of the night, you will be straight. That's all I've lived on is faith. That's all I can tell you. Faith in God and Mother Mary. And some okay. metaphysical. Because of my native roots. I'm Native American, so I really follow that, too. And I'm not 100%, okay? I'm kind of a dib of this and that. And I'm Yiddish, too. So, But let's go on to you. Is This man, <clears throat> you know, we either fear into love or we, you know, life's about fear or love. It's like two woofs. And mine's always been towards love, you know? And I feel like if you feel like you have this for this person, jump on it like white on rice and follow okay. it. Okay. <laughs> and if he denies you, you, at least you tried, right? Okay, yes. And yes. you got to have the universe tell you and God, you know, it ain't your time. Yeah. But, but I yeah. promise you, it took me months to grasp this. you got to love yourself. And you do. I yes. feel it. Yes. I feel it. Yes. yes. You've been mm-hmm. through some shit, and I ain't going to get into yes. that, okay? But you oh, follow your heart, you. your intuition, and your mind, and just let just let it guide you, and just don't okay. give a fuck what people think. That's what my friend told okay. me. Okay, all right, that's what so. I'm gonna. Okay. <laughs> all right. I hope I helped you. <laughs> you did. So. You did. Good. You did. I'm gonna start some services too. That's what's up. 
<laughs> okay. I'm hyper. I'm sorry. I'm high functioning. Really, ah, that's okay. That's okay. It's really okay. good talking Was to I you. Was I 100% with you tonight? A thousand percent. Yes, ma'am. You are. Yes. Amen. That's Yay! <laughs> I'm all happy with goosebumps and shit. That's cool. And it was nice to meet you. Nice so, to meet you too. Thank you. I will set up my uh, Facebook and get that thing started. And if you ever need help, just let me know, okay? Okay, I will. All right, you take care of yourself. Okay, you too. Bye bye. Yep, bye. Yeah. <laughs> was it too much, Kelly? Was Ooh. I can't believe? Did you feel that? Did you feel that? I did wow. wow! Holy you shit! It. Like yeah, a motherfucker! I and I can't with the Hyokin passing. I just lay it out. I don't know any other way. You know the truth. I just yeah. So yeah. Anybody calling in? We to, no. We might need to put a language me. warning on this one. <laughs> <laughs> so what Kelly are you thinking are you thinking shaman in the making or what I mean that's oh, my path yeah, I want to go God. towards you okay. nailed it you nailed it you totally nailed it yeah I just right I was on. blown away you nailed it yeah. Yeah, that and the hands on energy. I don't that's why I think shaman because of the and they say that with as a shaman you follow with your heart and your mind and you gotta put it together. But you also gotta have logic, illusion, delusion, you gotta know the difference and you gotta have faith. That's all we got. Yeah, yeah, you don't have that, then you don't have anything. You don't know. Nah, you know, hell nah. What it, yeah, Look, I lost know. my house, my dad, my husband, my dog, my kids at one time. Ain't no motherfucker pulling me back now. Hell nah. Oh, yeah. How do you feel right now, Rachel? I'm I'm okay. I'm calm. I'm grounded. Um, I got spirit with me. I'm flowing, if you know what I mean. I don't get into that because that just sounds too cray-cray. Um, <clears throat> I'm blessed. I'm grateful that you guys let me on tonight. You know, to show who I am, what I am, and know that I'm not, I am who I am. I can't explain it. I've yeah. had these gifts since I was a little girl. A little girl, I would see stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hello? You know, and, <clears throat> excuse me. And also, you know, my, my daughters as well. Oh, is there another one? No, it's the same person. Are you there? Are you still there? Huh? It wasn't me that was talking. Nah. Yeah, my energy don't sound right with this one. Hmm. This is this is dark. What's up with that? I don't and know. It just, yeah, like a prank type thing. There's haters. I don't care. Is there another one coming in? No, no, there isn't. No. Okay. I'll wait a little bit, make sure there isn't any. That one was awesome. I was grateful for that. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> I know this one's probably a little different because I just kind of laid it out. You could probably feel my excitement in it. I A lot of people, like, what do they mean when they say my energy is too overwhelming? Like, they can't even be by me. How do you work with well, that? Or is that just me? I think they have to be used to it. You know, I mean, I think that, like, um, I want to say this, and I think I've seen it a little bit, seen something a little bit tonight that maybe you might identify with. You know, Kelly, um, it's sort of funny. Kelly hit it with me. You know, she hid the excitement with me. I mean, she was like off doing a little happy dance. I think what happened with you is you did the happy dance on the air. You're right, yeah. You know? You're right. Yes, yes. You nailed it. And I have a lot of friends like Rachel, you need to slow down. You are overwhelming. Especially if I'm portraying a message in a text. I look like a mess head. You know, I type super fast and when I'm done with my message, it's done. You know what I mean? Oh You need to tell yeah, me that you write in kind of a, a lot of thing. paragraphs. Yeah, you nailed and it. You say right, okay, you're very wordy in your text message. Yes. Janice, oh, are you okay. <laughs> Janice is exactly like that. This friend Janice is exactly like that. I mean, every word is an essay, even if it's how are you. When she hears the show, she's going to be like, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. yeah. Wow. And I listened so to the other calls. So that's kind of right to shorthand, right? What? Huh? What? No, we don't that's have music calls. Sometimes, sometimes you calling? write. Hold on, no callers on. yet. Sometimes you no, write in the shorthand, like, abbreviate things and stuff, but it's just because your head's working so fast, your fingers can't keep up, right? you got to mind you that my mom... Being of schizophrenic, I don't do labels. It's just her mind's high functioning, and you gotta. Do, your mind is a powerful thing, okay? So let's. When you're schizophrenic, you got higher dopamine. You're gonna double do on drugs because you can't feel it. It is the dopamine effect by dopamine. The serotonin is low, and then we got FDA meds that fuck them up even more. So what I did is now, well, not me. I, it was probably my aunt, and I don't disclose names, and I'm grateful for this. We got her a lot of off the narcotics. I've put her in rehab a couple of times. She's tried to commit suicide three consecutive times. I saved her life once when her sugar was on eight. Um, my dad died of an overdose at uh, 25, and I think that's what started. And this past year, I swear to God by this, you can ask my community, I was with a friend a week before she died, <clears throat> about tears, and uh, she, uh, I tried to save her life, and it, I, I couldn't. I found out a week later. I, I did save her life, but I said, Sarah, I'm not going to be here next week to save you. Then I found out she died. But there's a lesson to be taught here for the people, you know, in my community, whatever. You know, this shit is race. It's government genocide and it's fucking highness. Listen, in 1928, we had a water, no, alcohol, that was poisoning 10,000 of our people. You don't think that's happening now in our drugs? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. Like, you see, um, you see the correlation domino effect here. I'm not dumb, nor am I not blind. You know. Yeah, yeah. And and that's where my father. That's where my father comes in and died. Yes, that's where my father comes in. Like Rachel, do you see with your own eyes what's going on with our people? Sarah's message was, I'm sick of people dying in my community, and it's got to start now. And when I had a <clears throat> vision of her, I had a vision of another friend. And uh, he had passed, same thing, I won't disclose names, and I had a vision of him, what he wore, the shirt he wore, how he passed, the room he was in, what he wanted for his family, and I promised him I would watch over him. And I did the best that I could, plus what I was going through. And uh, now, 2019, his wife is just doing magnificently wonderful. I mean, job back, everything's looking good. Sometimes God works in mysterious ways, okay, with faith. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, okay. the biggest thing I learned, because I worked out with monks at St. Abbey's, and the biggest thing I learned from them was faith, angels, and, you know, God didn't make two years in one mouth for nothing. So my listening abilities are not tacked. Awesome. And, you know, yeah. this gentleman that, I, that passed away, right before he went back home, he hugged me. I helped this, uh, her name is Sarah. I had helped her back home. But see, there's no devil. Like, you know, God didn't judge. She had vices like we all do. And people don't understand when they talk about motherfuckers and they got something to say. You know, we all hurt. But they got to understand. You, you see where I'm getting at with this. But, and there was yeah. another gentleman who was with him 12 hours before he died. And I said, you know how important your family is to you? This is the only life we have. And then I had another good friend that died, so I had witnessed six motherfucking deaths in a year. What does it take for this community to wake the fuck up? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I got this project starting. I don't know how I'm going to do it or what, you know. I got a job coming up that's better pay. You know, I got to do me first in my healing, you know. It's a process. Yeah. But you best believe 2018 and these deaths, you know, it's a learning lesson, not on my end, but to see with my own eyes start to see my father dead, that, you know, something's got to change in this community. If it's only got to be me, myself, and I, so be it. Because I am like a phoenix ash or whatever you call it. That's what my friend says. Um, yeah, it's on. Believe that. And my energy is cool. strong. I have a way with people with my words. But see, I don't know how to explain it, because that's the hardest part is, Rachel, you're crazy. You're crazy like your mom. No, son, you done got me fucked up. You know? It's hard, Kelly. How do you, yeah. you can't prove yeah. to people over and over and over, because that's what I was trying to do, being loud about it. And you just got to let it go and let it be for what it is. 
Yeah, yeah, I've learned that, you know, you stay kind of a little bit quiet on it and, you know, network with like-minded people and then it yes. gets easier because the people that are close to you. Oh, man, family. my school family, let me tell you what, starting with you and other ones, you know, I won't disclose names out of respect. I have family that are just starting to believe in me. That's amazing because I have lost a lot of family with that too, you know. They thought yeah. it was a form of witchcraft. It's not. I'm a metaphysical. It's spiritual. That's all it is. There's nothing to do with religion, none of that. And I do believe in God because God's in me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I would you like know, to God, do a show with you again. Listen, get some callers lined up, and it's on. Just let me know the date and time. And make sure I get myself cleared out, and I'll help yeah. anyway. And I'll do. Uh, I gotta do some tools, all right? But I'll do some uh, energy, distant remote healing too. Awesome! Yeah, you are great at that. Um, do you have any like remote healing stuff that you'd like her to do, Jonathan? Um, I can't think of anything. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm starting to get uh, yeah. drained a little bit. I can feel my. My frequency is always high. Is that normal for right now in the process of this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. that's how you know that you're ascending, and um, that's how you know. I thought I was acid ascending. tripping, man. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> no, this is real. And especially with spiritual men, I didn't understand the kicking it spiritually. Now I know. I thought I was crazy on that end too, and it all it all forms together, you know. It, it's all right, and I love this person, and it'll be all right. I got this. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not yeah. dumb. I know what the fuck I feel. I know what I see. My senses are on track, and we got more than seven senses, you know, senses. So, and uh, believe it or not, my daughters, my daughters are healers too. They don't. They're teenagers. You know, we're in. They're into eat, not ego. But my oldest, oh, you best believe, yeah, she's on at five ahead of me. So. Wow. Yes. Very beautiful children. Very smart. Very on it. Very compassionate. Uh, we go at times, but it's nothing but love. And for what they've been through, I'm flipping the script. You know what I mean? It's a good yeah. thing on out. And I'm grateful for this. Yeah. And I'm grateful for good, y'all. Good. I'm very grateful you let me on the air. I want more of this. I'll probably start my services. You know, it's going to be a while. I don't want to lay something out and not be truthful. Like, hey, I haven't had the actual tools yet. This is all based just on my heart, faith, and experience. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you're doing a really good job with it, too. Thank you. I mean, Thank that, you. I got... that caller, what? that was, like, spot on with the caller, and she was happy that you were there. I did, and it just and it's weird because when I first met um my guru, whatever, I got like a shitload. But this one, when I met her, was kind of like my angel. She almost she pretty much saved my life. Um, she said, Rachel, your your third eye is amazing. I've I've never really seen nothing like it. And third eye kind of sounds, you know, demonic, and it's not. All it is is just our intuition from God to know what what we know that the world isn't telling us. You know, we live in a fucked up world. And I hate it. So. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's about to change, Kelly. Yes, yep. What? I want to get my shaman thing and get this project started for my friend because I made her a promise. And most people know me. If I say something, I'm going to do it. It might take me a minute, but I'm on it. So I'm going to do this in memory yeah. for her. It's called Project Sarah. I'm sick of motherfuckers oh. dying to erase drugs. Point blank. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a good way to go either. No, it's not. It's not. And I'm seeing a dark cloud in this town. And I and I have my vices. Right? I'm not perfect. You best believe. But I'm 100% now than what I was before a while ago. And, you know, God has a way. God's going to throw you lessons. And if you don't learn them, it's going to get worse and worse. You know, you just got to listen. But Yeah, absolutely. But, but, uh, yeah. Thank you for your time. Is there anything else that you can think of? I can't think um, of anything. You, you mean great that No, no. Um, All right. Yeah, thank you for coming. Well, I would, I would like to schedule again or maybe co-host something, get something going, you know, get some callers in. All right. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. Well, thank you all for coming on. Yes. Thank you. And, you know, Jonathan, thank you for having faith in me. And Kelly, um, the distant healing, I was about in tears like, you got to be crazy. And I did it on one other friend, Tamara. And she's like, Rachel, I can feel it. I'm like, come on, man. She's like, no, really. And I don't mean to bust her out, but I've known her since I was five. She's not going to lie to me. Oh, that's cool. I know. I'm, I'm.